today there was a lot of drama that happened uh, on social media of uh, this organization that was having uh, the strike today whereby they had posted that there will be no strike just a day before the strike then a few minutes later changed and said uh, that there will be a strike and um, cited the fact that that message of saying there will be no strike had been written by a hacker a person who, who hacked into the account and people read a lot of jokes there and a lot of uh, uh, drama since uh, how will that just happen just before uh, the demonstration and it is one of the reasons why Gen Z have been very constant saying in their movement or in their demonstration they are not interested in having a leader because these leaders are the people who usually get infiltrated into then compromise the whole movement and considering that KMPDU is a movement that in one way or another is led by one person then it is easier to reach that person and compromise or to try to turn down how the demonstrations will be or will turn out so in this video i want us to critically assess uh, this drama and how the demonstration went today and try to find uh, how this will impact our nation and also the causes what is behind this kind of movement so if you are new to our channel please take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that we can continue with this kind of deliberation remember at the Socrato tv we always explore, discuss, and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape. Now back to our analysis. The president of the Republic of Kenya agreed with the doctors and uh, especially the interns about a CBK, which was uh, to uh, actually um, meet or actualize the demands that they had requested in the previous demonstrations that they had. But seemingly, the president seemed to have actually lied to them, if I will just be honest with you, because up to now, he has not actualized what they agreed with. And that is why they called for the demonstrations uh, for last week, and the, days, the day for the demonstration was today. And just yesterday, before the demonstration were to be done, there was a comment. In fact, it really demoralized people. Not really a comment, but a tweet from the very account of the, the organization saying that there will be no strike since there was an ongoing conversation between the organization and the government. And uh, people uh, were surprised. People had already prepared to, to go for strike. Then shortly again, the people claimed that the strike is on and the, or the comment that had been posted on that social media platform was be of, be from a, a person who had infiltrated the site and was trying to sabotage their movement or their agenda. And one will ask yourself, how can that happen? Really? How can that happen? Now, if you want to understand clearly what this, what, what, why this happened, the idea behind posting that was... Uh, you know, when this was announced and the, the fact that we have been having other kind of demonstrations, the government feared. They realized that there have been uh, this demonstration led by Gen Z, which have actually, which actually caught them off guard and have made uh, them consider to some things, although uh, artificially, things like withdrawing the finance bill, uh, creating that auditor, uh, General, the, the auditing task force, the auditing of the debt task force, among others. So the government may have looked at that situation and foresaw that it was possible for this demonstration of MOH or uh, doctors to be infiltrated or other Gen Z's throughout the country to join them, which will have made the, it difficult for them not only to contain the demonstration, but it will also have made it difficult for them to ignore them. Remember, they have been ignoring uh, such kind of demonstration, and it, and it will also paint the nation in a bad light. Just a nation that does not listen. Demonstration after demonstrations. So it is possible they infiltrated. There is an insider within that organization who gave them access to that account and just posted that to turn down, at least to demoralize or make people not come out in large numbers. Then. 
it is possible that that uh, after achieving that objective of toning down and causing confusion then they retracted or brought back the conversation that there was still to be a strike so even the person who may have been posting that is it is possible he, he knew he or she knew exactly what he was doing so i think uh, to some degree they may have achieved that because yes there were protests but they were not that big now what does this mean about this kind of government this simply means that this is a government that is not ready to serve the people it is not ready to actually act, work on their constitutional mandate it is not ready to listen to the people if it was ready to listen to the people they will not be busy or focused on short term tactics to try and ensure that the protests do not go on instead they will have focus or they will have concentrated their efforts on ensuring that they facilitate or provide that which these protesters are asking and it's the reason i find that these uh, people who are saying that the protests do not help and protests will be stopped are misled protests help and protests are actually uh, what even made us have this new constitution what gave us the uh, multi-party democracy so if the protests were not working this government or any other regime anyway in this world would not be interested in trying to ensure they quell them down or lower their impact and as i saw today the demonstration as they went on i think um we are in a very bad place as a country if doctors people who should be treating us are on the streets complaining about their pay remember doctor a doctor is a person who has given his all or his life uh, to ensure that another person is alive when in the very country or in the same country we have members of parliament who are earning millions of money but not doing anything we have uh, people pss and community sector whose business in the government is to touch and touch a lot of money abroad without caring what is happening uh, to mwananchi so uh, this kind of things that we likely to be experienced or the implication of this is first of all still the trust that he, people had in government of course the trust is little is continuing to diminish so as the government is thinking that it's playing in people's mind by uh, issue of short term strategy stopping uh, the protest and trying to allow it you know such kind of confusion as the government may think or may believe that they are making steps for me i do not see any step that they are moving forward this is just a time bomb and what they are doing is to postpone a problem so you cannot if you you always postpone a problem that's in itself does not mean that the problem will end the simple thing is that this problem will now come back in a strong and more lethal way and it's the reason i believe that the president is yet actually to understand this gen z and i i don't think he'll understand them because you have not seen any change any radical shift in his cabinet or anything like that and uh, uh, even as he was attending to people during the space he was not really committed to do anything that will assure people or will return the confidence of the people so today uh, that is how uh, the issue transpired and there were protests and um, i think uh, tomorrow also being a tuesday the gen z have also said they will be having protest and this revolution seem not to be dying anytime soon it is is going on here and i think that is the way that should be to ensure that this president is pressurized until he acts as he's supposed to act this superficial artificial type of uh, uh, deliberation or types of coming up with the task force doing this this and this are not what we want we just want the president to act and ensure he meets the constitutional uh, mandate that the kenyans have given him and also he provides people with a working environment whereby they can thrive without actually depending on their money from harambees uh, for their survival i don't know what you think about please feel free to share a comment at the comment box until we meet again bye bye